user interface tab of the options we're going to go up to our application menu we're going to go to options we get to options we're going to go to the user interface in the tools and analysis this is where we can uh, turn things on and off for each uh, component that we have uh, so across the top we have a structure and the systems and if we had the mechanical uh, uh, electrical things it would probably be more but we have massing so we don't want anybody to see those things we just uncheck them and then those things will not be in those tabs uh, so we can eliminate things so that let's say you're never going to do massing well you can just uncheck that and then all that will be gone or uh, maybe you don't know how to do the structural analysis so you can just uncheck it and say hey we're not even going to bother the active theme uh, this is light or dark this is what we see when um, you know uh, if you like a light background dark background type thing keyboard shortcuts keyboard shortcuts we can go down the list here and we can say ah for anything in here like uh, monitor or cancel or run or uh, add to circuit or whatever it may be in here um, whatever one of these things we want you can type, have a shortcut so we just say for duck and then you type in whatever couple letters you want for a duck and then you type those in on the keyboard so you can customize your keyboard sh shortcuts you can also customize your double click options so you know when you click on a view or a schedule in your project browser uh, when you double click it's going to activate that view so you can change those options of what you want you can say I don't want to do anything when that happens so depending on how you want these things you can configure those particular behaviors uh, tooltips uh, tooltips is where when you hover over a tool and it will fly out and tell you about that tool it's set by normal as default uh, so as you start off for the first eight weeks of the class you might want to be on high so you can learn everything about all the tools but later on in the class you might want to get normal as you get to be an expert you might want to go to a minimal or none uh, you would want to enable recent files on the startup I like this 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 way you can always remember your your uh, your drive letter in your folder where you put the files so this should be checked on uh, tab switching behavior um, so when we have a tab where we select on something up here on top uh, and then we change our mind uh, in our project environment we want to return to the previous tab uh, but when we're working on families such as we're building those bookshelves that we want to have we want to stay on the modify tool because we're kind of building down in there so uh, you you have a couple of choices you can go back to the previous tab or you can stay on the modify tab uh, so those are your two choices and also you can display the contextual tab on selection uh, so in this one uh, we want to keep this checked uh, so this is when you uh, select something it it displays the tab on that selection so these are things in the user interface that you can take a look at and, and configure to your liking. Remember in the CAD lab these will get overwritten each time you log in because of the mirrored hard drive.